Hi, I'm Mark Collins. I'm the designer of the B-Pack Composite Flat Pack Beehive. And today I'm going to be talking to you about what to expect when you order a B-Pack. First of all, it comes in this funky box, weighs 20 kgs, which conforms to the international career standards globally. Inside the box, you'll find this brew box. In the brew box, it's fully assembled already. It has four badger-proof locks, a nice lightweight composite lid, which is insulated, a queen excluder, over there, time being. Packaging. An instruction manual. So if you're a woman, you can read it. If you're a guy, you can ignore it and battle on. Then it comes with two 11 small super frames that are flat packed and easy to assemble. And 22 small frames and 11 large brood frames. 33 frames in all, all made out of food grade plastic and they're easy to snap together so anyone with no tools can install it. The whole system we designed was for ease of use for a hobbyist beekeeper or a, an expert beekeeper. These are the super components. It's over-engineered aluminium with a frame hanger here which is all built in, all the integral part of the system, so that there's no moving parts and it can't break. It's super strong and super light. Yeah. And the only bit of screwing is eight screws in the whole system, which if you order any other flat pack beehive, a wooden one, you need hours to install. So there's all the frames, it's all flat packed. The material we use is a composite material, which is a fiberglass outer shell, a high density foam inner in the center here for insulation, and another fiberglass backing. The fiberglass is UV resistant and it's also fire resistant. So if a sweeping bushfire comes through the beehive, the hive will survive, you know, where a wooden hive will go up in flames. Also, if there's any disease in a hive, in any normal wooden hive, the hive has to be burnt by law. But with a bee pack, it can be steam cleaned and then sanitized and back to work again, saving the beekeeper lots and lots of money. This is the entrance guard. I'll show this a bit later how this one works. These are the sidebars. There are, there are 22 small sidebars and 11 larger bars for the brew box, okay? Sidebars. You get the eight screws. This also is the moisture control valve. It's a bee escape. It's also for a bee feeder as well. It's this clever little design. It's a Varroa mite trap. It was designed for ease for the beekeepers to pull out, inspect the trap, put it back in again without uh, disturbing the bees. On the inside, underneath the lip, we have air vents. This will help draw air in as well as the entrance and take air up into the hive to make the airflow better for the bees. The trap has got a very fine mesh here that's designed so that the varroa mites can fall off the bees. They can fall through into the trap. We can put the fly paper on the inside. We lock it in place with the mesh. One, two, three. So inside is the fly paper and the varroa mites will fall through the trap onto the flypaper and get stuck. We can also do two ways there. We can take the, the mesh out as well, and then we can place a sponge on here with antibiotics so the bees can come in, stand on the antibiotic tray, and take it into the hive as well. So it's a two-way thing we can use the varroa mite trap for. I designed the varroa mite trap for ease of inspections for beekeepers um, without disturbing the bees. So you can place it inside, and then the bee farmer can come along, you can open it, Gently, you can move it out, inspect it if there's any problems in it with his hive, clean it, put it back in again. You can either have a nice large landing area or a smaller one or none at all. Here we have the entrance reducer. It's got a two-way function. It stops wasps going in 
uh, larger beetles. Uh, also, uh, some farmers like them, some farmers don't use them. You can also turn it around and you can lock the bees in place for transporting purposes or pollination. Next, we have, we'll move on to the actual brood frame. The brood frame, so it's got a long side, a thick top bar, and a small, small bottom bar. It's food grade plastic, clips together, very easy. Bang, no tools required whatsoever. Okay, so we've got all 11 frames assembled and ready to fit inside. With a uh, normal Lamstroth hive, the same dimensions, they have, any, you can only put in 10 frames, but with the B pack, we can put, fit 11 frames in because we have a lot more space because of the composite material we, that we use. Here we have the low friction frame hanger, which enables the frames to uh, be pulled out easier and the bees don't properize. It doesn't get stuck, so you don't need to use a hive tool to take out the frames. It makes it quicker and easier to extract the frames for beekeepers. Here we have the galvanized queen excluder. It's nice and, nice and strong, very sturdy. This goes on between the brood box and the honey producing supers, but it's your preference. Some beekeepers use it, some don't, doesn't matter. Right, moving on now, we're gonna start and build the supers. The super comes, there's two supers. It comes in a very simple snap together system as well. So anyone with minimum tools, only a screwdriver, can in install it in a matter of minutes. These are our reinforced aluminium edges and, they, and the way we design them, so there's no sway in the actual uh, super. When they're full of, of, uh, of honey, they can become very heavy and there can be a little bit of play. With these, there's no play whatsoever. They're actually over-engineered. All the aluminium edges are overkill. Everything just snaps together. One, two, three. No tools required. There it goes. Normal electric screwdriver. So come along, place the super on top, put it in place, square it off, and you can lock it down. Simple, easy, lock down. So we put together the small super. There we go. It's in place, it's screwed. Now we're gonna to put together the super frame. It's very simple, it's all snapped together. This groove is for the wax strip. This goes at the bottom of the top section. So let's go like this. In one, clip together, ensuring the grooves at the bottom, the top bar. This can go either way, it doesn't really matter. I don't want to change. Again, nice and quick, no tools required. Let's put together the last super. Nice and easy. In one. Show the smooth side on the outside, rough side on the inside, clip it in. There we go. Bang, bang, bang. Locks the same. And we just. Okay, so that's it. This is the last super frame goes in. So, on the last super, put the super on top. And here we have our 11 brood frames, 22 super frames, all ready to go. All we need to do now is put the lid on it, just turn around, bring the lid. The packs have two surfaces. The outer surface is a smooth gel coat surface, UV resistant, also fire retardant. And the inside is a rough surface. You can see the difference. So that's always on the inside. The lid comes along. Place the lid on top. And there you have the bee escape or a moisture control valve, or you can open it. Place the bee feeder on the top, which is extra. And the bees can come out the inside and get fed in during winter months. And there's no uh, disturbing the bees. 
lockdown. All beef packs are interchangeable, so the all CNC cut on the machine exactly the same. Because of the composite nature of the beef pack beehive, a brood box, the two supers, the 33 frames, and all the extras weighs less than 20 kgs. Nice and light. It's a must for any bee farmer.